Beginning 2024, ECFMG is introducing a new policy that it's been working on since 2010. And this policy is called the Recognized Accreditation. Now, recognized accreditation means that the accrediting agencies of a medical school has itself been reviewed and recognized by an external quality assurance organization. Now, the quality assurance organizations in turn has been approved by ECFMG. Only medical schools accredited by an agency recognized by ECFMG will satisfy the requirements of the recognized accreditation policy and therefore the ECFMG. In this video, I'm going to take time to explain exactly what this policy means and how it will affect um, students who will be applying for ECFMG. While the ECFMG does not accredit schools directly by itself, it will begin by relying on the World Federation for Medical Education to determine the qualification of medical schools. The ECFMG will only certify students who attend an accredited um, medical school by the World Federation for Medical Education. These changes will take effect from 2024. And right now, um, we don't know the specific date, but if you look on the ECFMG website and also the World Federation of Medical Schools website, the accreditations or the previous accreditation for most of the medical schools will expire in around April. So um, I am anticipating that this will actually take effect from um, April of 2024. Now. Um, for students who are thinking about whether they will be affected or not, I'm going to show you a map and then you can be able to tell uh, whether your uh, country's uh, accrediting um, agency has been uh, approved by ECFMG as at the moment or not, because several countries um, have their accrediting agency um, already approved by ECFMG. Some are also in the process and some have not at all. So it's up to the medical students to push their school and then the schools will also have to push um, the various agencies to get the accreditation from ECFMG. First of all, take a deep breath. You might not be affected and you can check if your school has been accredited by the World Federation for Medical Education. Um, and um, I will put the link um, down in the description. You can click on it and then you can get the current data as at the time of this video. Now, if you look, you can see that some countries are shaded in dark blue, some are in the light blue, and also some are in the gray. Now, if you are in the dark blue zone, it means that your a country's accrediting agency has been recognized already as at this time, so you have nothing to worry about. Now, if you are in the light blue, then your country's accrediting agency is in the process of getting the new accreditation. So um, you should also not worry too much. It just takes time for it to uh, be ready. And so um, countries who are in the gray zone are those who should be worried. So what you have to do is, hey, go to your medical school and let them know that these are the changes that are happening. So your medical school can talk to the accrediting agency. Now, those accrediting agencies, if they have not already kick-started the process, then they can go ahead and apply to the World Federation of Medical Schools, which has also been um, already authorized by the ECFMG so that they can do it swiftly. There is enough time to do it. Um, it's still about 16 months to go. So if they're starting now, they can get it through before the deadline. Now, what if your school's accrediting agency is not recognized by ECFMG at all? Or what if their application is rejected um, when they do the application. There is good news. The good news is that if you have applied for ECFMG certification or will be applying before 2024, then you will be able to continue with the certification process under the pre-2024 rules. This is true even if you are not fully certified by 2024. Now, for those who already have ECFMG certification or received it before 2024, there will be no changes uh, come 2024. 
The bad news is if you do attend a medical school in a country without a World Federation of Medical Education recognition or accreditation by 2024, and you have and you have not yet applied for ECFMG certification, you will be unable to apply for ECFMG certification by 2024 and beyond. There is hope in the notion that your medical school needs to qualify for the World Federation of Medical School recognition uh, at the time of your application. Um, the application process for recognition is relatively um, as I said earlier on, it's about 8 months to 12 months. And as we are speaking right now, we still have about 16 months for this whole thing to take effect. So there is um, a lot of time for all this process um, to um, go on. Um, you can also find more information on the ECFMG website and I will put the link right under this video. And uh, let me know exactly what you think. Uh, kindly share this video uh, with anyone who might need this information. Thanks for watching and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck in your journey to become a doctor in America. Bye.